Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm sharing a quick and easy recipe for Monterey Spaghetti Casserole. This is an oldie but goodie, and it's been around for decades, and I hope you love it as much as I do. So let me show you what you're going to need. You are going to need cooked spaghetti, and this is drained but not rinsed, sour cream, a beaten egg, grated Parmesan cheese, Monterey Jack cheese, fried onions. This is frozen spinach that I um, squeezed all of the extra water out so it is very well drained. And you're going to need some garlic powder. And as usual, I will make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. So let's get started. All right, so I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees and in a medium bowl, I'm adding in my beaten egg, my sour cream, and I'm using full fat sour cream, my grated Parmesan cheese, and my garlic powder. And I'm just gonna give this a good stir. Now, I'm not adding any additional salt. Um, we try to watch our salt around here, and I feel like there's plenty of salt in that Monterey Jack cheese and in those fried onions. So I'm not adding any, but if you want extra salt or extra seasoning, feel free. So now I'm gonna add in my Monterey Jack cheese. Now I grated my own Monterey Jack cheese, but if you wanna use the pre-shredded, that's fine. I just feel like using the block of cheese and grating it yourself just melts a lot better because it doesn't have all of the additives that the pre-shredded has. And I'm going to add in my spinach. I'm just gonna give it a good stir. So now I'm gonna add in my spaghetti. And I'm gonna add in half of those fried onions. And I'm just gonna stir it to combine. Okay, so I have everything all combined. I have an eight by eight casserole dish, and I am just going to pour the contents into that dish. So now that I have it all smoothed out, I am going to cover this dish with foil and pop it in the oven for half an hour. So it's been 30 minutes and I just took the casserole out of the oven, uncovered it, and now I'm just sprinkling, sprinkling the rest of those fried onions on top and then I'm gonna pop it right back into the oven. Okay, so here is the casserole. I let the casserole bake for about six more minutes after I added on those French fried onions. And here is everything all plated up. This is such a quick and easy casserole. If you wanna make it meaty, you could add some chicken in there and it's still absolutely delicious. I am serving it with some garlic bread and a side salad. I really hope you all enjoyed this quick and easy recipe. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.